Code 6 is Daddy needs you. Oh shit! Ha! 20 orange to granddad. <laughs> Looky there, he's awake. You daft! Don't go in there! Shut it, he's in chains, can't do a thing. Am I right, Master Geralt? <laughs> roll again! Why? The dice didn't roll! <laughs> Calling me a cheat? Take it back! Look, he's awake again! Monster slayer, my ass. A regular harson. I heard witches would start out as roadside orphans taken in by mages. Mages who experiment on them. <laughs> Folks say they plow witches come the equinox. That's how they get those spooky eyes. Enough! Take him down and put him in the interrogation room. I thought you died. I'm not so easy to kill. I don't believe we've been introduced. Vernon Roach. Walk around behind me if you want to shake. Well, how foolish of me. Vess! Unshackle him. Geralt of Rivia. Care to introduce us? No, thanks. Bring something to drink. We can't sit here cotton mouthed. You will tell me everything you remember the entire assault, and all that happened in the solar. And if I refuse? I shall have to beat you. I've commanded the Special Forces for a while. Got good at beating others. You're a Witcher. You'd endure much. You better believe it. Worst case scenario, you'll suffer through it, go back to your cell, and tomorrow, they'll publicly gut you, skin you, and hang you. Just like that? For nothing? No. For Temeria. Downright praiseworthy. Where should I start? It was a long day. I wish to hear the important bits. Just so we're clear on this, I was not eager to go into battle. But Foltest is not someone you refuse. Witcher, are you up? <sighs> His Majesty, King of Tiberia, Pontar, Mahakam, and Sodden, Senior Protector of Bruges, summons Master Geralt to appear before him. Tell him I'll be there shortly. Sorry to intrude like this, milady, but the King. We heard you. A pleasant day to you, milady. Witcher.
stupid war. Could have been such a beautiful morning. A war can never be stupid when waged by your king. They've cleared the forests, they're pillaging nearby villages, and they'll soon be murdering each other en masse. Why? Because Foltest's having a spat with the mother of his bastard twins. This is a really stupid war, Triss. Bastards or not, the children are still royal blood. The Lavalettes are an old Temerian dynasty, and the mix is sufficient basis to vie for the crown. History has known stranger contenders. Which doesn't change the fact that... I know. Altest and the other northern monarchs are neither the smartest nor the most refined, but they're kings, one of whom we serve. And I'll see Foltest is summoned, protect him if need be. But once the castle falls, we leave. Did you dream of the wild hunt again? Mm-hmm. I get the feeling that dream's important. Running frantically through the forest. The wild hunt. They're the last things I remember. I wake up and try to relive the dream and the memory, hoping I'll find some guidance. Some clue to grab onto. Something that'll help me recover my memory. Dreams can be very powerful. Some people claim they can even shape reality. People claim a lot of things. The problem is, it's often nonsense. We'll know in time. I'm sure of it. The unlucky assassin? How did the autopsy go? It was a nightmare. In the months since you killed him, the king's medics poked around in his corpse like a bunch of amateurs. What arrived in that cart? Well, I wouldn't even call it a corpse. Foltest has some trust issues. Did you learn anything? His pupil suggested he could probably see in the dark as well as you. I couldn't put an age on him. The killer snuck past all the guards and nearly killed Foltest and me a month ago. And now you tell me he was a witcher? Possibly. I'm just saying what the autopsy showed. I haven't told anyone, nor do I plan to. I know what it could do to you if it got out. You might be a savior, a king's witcher now, but masters can be as fickle as the cults they ride. One of the scouts swears he saw a dragon down by the river, claims he ran into a Scoyatel unit. That would have been it if the dragon hadn't swooped down. The elves apparently bowed in prayer and he escaped. A dragon? In the midst of civilization? Oh, please. Besides, does it matter? Witchers don't hunt dragons. Or has something changed? Nothing's changed. And you're right. It's probably not a dragon. Although it could be a forked tail or a slizzard. Maybe even an overgrown wyvern. The scout ran into some elves and scurried away. That's how that story begins and ends. All right. Time to look to the lustful king and his stupid war. I'll join you later. For you. We know each other. Don't recognize your old mates. We're the Crinfrid Reavers. I lost my memory. As did Boholt. After the hunt for the Golden Dragon, he took a spill and hit his head on a rock. He can still be a beast in battle, but besides that, he don't do much save eating shit. Rarely even lusts after women. I doubt that's amnesia. I'm Kenneth. And this one here they call Desperate, and it's his new boy. He's um, apprenticing with us, like. I haven't had much luck with the monsters of late, so we enlisted. Now new boy's gotten itself into this wager situation. Would you help us for old time's sake? I mean, we all got a little riled. But those are bygones, as I see it. We'd have set you free. The sorceress, too. Boholt was just fooling about the raping and all. 
Shut your trap, Desbrett. The Witcher don't remember. Waste of words to remind him. We're old mates, that's that. So you'd have raped this old mate? Just the sorceress. You were there to kill the dragon, the sorceress too. The peasants wanted at it, everyone did. But there was only one prize. When we argued, there was some commotion, a regular rumble in fact. We tied you up like hogs, meaning you and the sorceress we went after the beast. That dragon thrashed us so hard, we spent the next half year licking our wounds. And you done freed yourselves of your bonds. Who was the sorceress? Raven-haired she was. Remember her name, Desbrett? Er, uh, Conifer or some such. So, willing to help some old friends, Witcher? What kind of trouble are you in now? It's a matter of life, death, and quite a bit of coin in point of fact. New boy better night that he'll survive the assault in his shirt and knickers alone. We drunk a bit by then, I admit, but a wager's a wager. Our honor's at stake. A soldier's honor versus a knight's. I think I get it. The very core of the matter, Witcher. We're slated to go in the first wave, so the going's liable to be hard. New boy's brave, but he can't survive by courage alone. In any case, we've come into this bauble that's supposed to protect him, magically like. You mind casting an expert's glance at it, seeing as sorcery and such is not strange to you? Let me see this bauble. Your wolf medallion, I saw it shake. It reacts to magic. So it's true, what the priest said. Hear that, new boy? You'll be safe. We'll fleece that night, we will. Where did you get this talisman? We came by it, let's say. We were on patrol, see, and ran into a couple of novice priestesses praying at this shrine. They were nice, smiling and all. We don't wanted to take them two on patrol. Ho ho ho! But... Shut it! Bowen had one of his rare moments of clairvoyance, went rummaging in the shrine and found the amulet. Who knows what goes on in that head of his, but every now and then he wakes up as good old Boholt. Aye, he still cuts them down with a single wallet. In any case, we took the amulet and went off to find the rest of the patrol. Oh, the wonders we saw. First, ran into some squirrels, vicious ones, adders flying everywhere. We came through untouched. Barely three of the others still standing when a dragon swooped down, the elves fell to their knees, and we all legged it. The amulet's magic for certain. Though it failed to protect the shrine from your patrolling. Aye, true. Well, now we don't know what to think. Who knows? Maybe the amulet is unlucky. Maybe it draws trouble. I doubt you left the shrine untouched. Then the square tell, the dragon. I told you as much. We need to get the boy some plate. Wait a minute. We owe the Witcher some thanks. But we're broke as shit peddlers. Fancy the amulet, Witcher. It might draw trouble, be cursed in some way. But you might lift the curse. Sell it off. for normal business still. Willing to hunt monsters? Yeah, I'm willing. Why do you ask? Well, cause we were out with those scouts that saw the dragon. No one believes us, but... The sound in the assembly. That's us. We'll find you after the battle, Witcher. You... Wait. Farewell. If it goes on like this, we must have been one in the level extended by sundown. Too true. Overwhelming force. That's what we are. Word is, way up north was a tree. Ah, uh, my mother used to make porridge. Never had better in my life. Cook certainly won't top your mother. What's in the pot? Turnips. Crawl under a rock and die. Those trebuchets are fucking pounding the pulp out of them. Must be shitting themselves on the walls. <laughs> Laugh all you like. Come the assault to be slipping on that shite. Any advice from a veteran? Hey, wasn't it you who defeated the Grand Master and put down the rebellion in Vizima? What are we waiting for? 
Greetings. Can I interest you in a worthy cause? We could use your support. What's the cause? Uh, a veterans fund for former fighting men of need. Uh-huh. Found anyone gullible enough to fall for that? There's nothing to fall for. It's just some arm wrestling. Arm wrestling? Yeah, why? You put down some coin and we wrestle. Win and the pot is yours. Lose and... <laughs> Well, the coin goes to the fund. Care to test your strength? strength you've got in that arm of yours. Greetings. I haven't played dice poker in a while. Ah, oh, it's like walking. You don't forget how to do it unless you're drunk. Roll a few rounds with me. Certainly haven't forgotten how to play. Here's your coin. You look sick. Everything all right? Move those feet! This is the army, yeah. not the barnyard! On the double, move it! Those trebuchets are fucking pounding the pool. You look sick. Of... You seek the king. All right. He waits near the machine. No reason to go in here. Ah! They're in for a beating! A beautiful day for battle! Fear not, Excellency. We're out of range of their arbalists. I am no warrior, sir. I must admit, I prefer to joust verbally or with a pen, the emissary of peace that I am. Hogwash! You're the emissary of the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes, the Emperor of Nilfgaard, who spared no blood conquering over a dozen sovereign realms. Thus bringing them laws, culture and peace above all. Finally! Traitors of the realm boil tar on the walls while you dally with the royal advisor. How may I assist you, sire? We mount an assault today, and you'll be at my side. Follow me, gentlemen. Let's not keep the traitors waiting. Sire, you said we were out of range. That was a ballista, Excellency. Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. A deadly and very costly weapon. An experienced crew can cock and release two bolts each minute. Yet it has one flaw. Your Grace, please take cover. The recoil of the arms is so strong upon firing that the weapon shifts. It simply cannot hit the same spot twice. I had no idea your grace was a learned military engineer. I'm not. I gave the Baroness those ballistae two years ago for her birthday. Sire. What say you, Excellency, of men who live in spite of such wounds? And what say you, your grace, of soldiers? Those who 
those who did this live no more. Master Geralt, I wish to converse with you once the storm of battle has subsided. Forgive me, Excellency, but I plan to leave the Royal Court as soon as possible. Might I know why? Too often they take the What do they call you, soldier? Wait. You served with me at Bremen during our foray into the Pontar Valley. Norman Sagan. Still an arbalist? Yes, sir. Fight has not been kind to me. Ha! <laughs> Norman Sador, for your years of faithful service to the Crown, I appoint you Decurion of the Arbalists. Onwards, gentlemen. No reason to dawdle. Forgive my candor, Your Majesty, but uh, I must ask. What fate awaits the royal bastards when they're my children? If I hear bastard one more time, someone will die. Painfully. Your Grace, forgive me. But the laws of succession are irrefutably clear. Piss on the laws. I'll change them if need be. Above all, I'll not allow a band of treacherous barons to use my children as their banner. Your Majesty is entirely within his rights. Thanks to Geralt of Rivia, my daughter Ada is alive, and is now the wife of Radovid of Redania. I see. I fear you do not, Excellency. The midget king merely awaits my demise. I am certain King Radovid of Redania wishes Your Majesty a long and healthy life. That wasn't even amusing, Excellency. The old families will never accept a Redanian on my throne. Ada will have to contend herself with Redania. I understand. The issue of succession remains unresolved. Your Grace, I request your permission to retire. You have it. Black ones in my camp before a battle. What has the world come to? Nothing would make me happier than returning his shriveled head to Emir in a sack. But Triss Merigold insisted I be patient and courteous. Was I? brought your sense of humor along. Have you learned anything about the assassin? Triss did an autopsy. It's possible he was a witcher. A witcher? What have I ever done to the plowing witchers? Anything more? He had no medallion, but that doesn't mean anything. Many in your shoes would have withheld that information. After the battle, Triss will report to me. For now, let us tend to the traitors. Where are you aiming, imbeciles? Soldier! Spyglass! What is going on up there? The gods! Count at you, very! Catch, Witcher! Aim for the rogue with the red plume. Not six months ago, he swore eternal friendship to me. Quickly! How much higher? One and a half degrees. Did we hit the bastard? He's down. Ha! One less traitor. Time to attack. Follow me, Witcher! You know, Witcher, I'm prepared to forgive Louisa. All she need do is to kneel before her king. Very noble of you. You mocking me? Never mind. I'm certain Louisa will realize her mistakes. Besides, children should have a mother. I'm lost. It's quite simple. Louisa and I had a bit of a tiff. She made demands I could not fulfill. Understand? I have. 
think so. Count Echeverry and others immediately intervened, all noble, all sympathetic. They claimed the evil king would take her children. They would protect them, even place them on the throne. And the Baroness was duped, her motherly love used. In truth, they desire privileges that would weaken the throne. That's a swiving soldier's life! Taking orders, smash your foe! Going in country, there, your wife! And a long road on Jitso! <laughs> Ridiculous. It was designed to break the rebels' morale. A bunch of lords and lordlings took a ride to then pompously stride on top of the walls, while the real army fought and died below them in the shit and piss filled streets. If years of service have taught me anything, it's that the highborn don the best costumes and get the best vantage points, whether at a ball or in battle. But it's not the time for that kind of jousting, Witcher. Continue your story. Things went relatively smoothly after we came out of that tower. That is, until we ran into Arian Lavalette. You shall push for the center aisle and bring down that gate. It's a good day to kill, your majesty. Follow me, gentlemen. For Temeria! Lord Swan, you and your men shall follow me. We must capture or otherwise deal with Arian Lavalette in order to break the defender's morale. Yes, your grace. Geralt, gentlemen, follow me. For the glory! Fall back, goddammit! I forbid you to die like imbeciles! Hear me! They've taken a good position, the bastards! If this persists, they'll pick us off like ducks. And I'm no duck. Any ideas? That ballista would do the trick.
ります。Like the rabid dogs you are! Arian Lavalette, this will be no easy task. Surrender, Arian! You'll be treated with honor! Go plow yourself, King! Bury them in arrows! Come on, men! For Temeria! They're well shielded. You've got a better idea? I'll try to get inside. It shouldn't be hard if the archers provide cover. That's the son of Louisa and the old Baron. Heir to these lands. He's hot-tempered but good with a sword. Be careful. I'll try to reason with him. 
Cover the Witcher! The famed Geralt of Rivia. You've fallen low, Witcher. Word has it you're one of the best swordsmen in the North. Time to test that rumor. Enough slaughter. Surrender and Foltest will treat you and your men with honor. And what guarantee is there that he'll not cut us down to the last? None. Foltest defiled my mother. Now he colludes with Nilfgaard. The king leads an army. You have but a few brave men and your honor. In a minute, you may lose even those. Choose. Hear that, men! The king sends a witcher, and we are to surrender, forgetting the very nature of honor and pride. We must choose. Shame or a witcher's sword? Is that how you would live? Will you bow your heads before Foltest? Never! You heard them, witcher. Don't be a fool. This is no game. Your men don't need to die. Surrender, and the king will show mercy. My mother has seen enough of this king's mercy! What'll you do? Throw yourself on my sword? Run? He made mother a harlot, then denied her before all the realm! True enough. But no massacre, no misguided heroism will change that. Drop your weapons. Should anything happen to my mother, I shall find you and kill you. Arian Lavalet laid down his sword. Well, well. Have you spoken to him? Briefly. Just before they took him off to the torture chamber. The hard luck of a traitor. Continue. While I remember, what happened to the dragon? It destroyed half the castle. Killed hordes of soldiers and flew off. Where? In the general direction of Edom. To think it almost killed us all. Arian Lavalette has surrendered the castle. Open up! And the Baron lives? Yes, he lives. I'm not spiteful. Open this gate, kneel before your king, and I shall show you mercy. Looks like we're stuck. Indeed, and my magic's no good here. The main force down in those boats is going to beat us to town. Want to head back to the tent? The camp will be nice and empty now. I've had enough for today. Tempting. Look, the King's special forces. We want to see him! You doubt my words, dog! Open the gate now! Sire. Vernon Roach. Tell me, Roach. There's fighting in the town. 
A section of our forces crossed the river in fishing boats and swarmed the streets, burning, raping, pillaging. The Lavalettes are making a stand near the temple. What of the Baroness? Alive and safely tucked away. Unsoiled, I hope. As you ordered, sire. She's fine. And beautiful as ever. The children were not with her. But you know where they are? In the monastery. But we've yet to penetrate that area. Cross, quickly! Protect the king! Dragon! Take cover! To the hoardings! Protect the king! Run for the hoarding! Give my leg for a heavy crossbow right now! It's a dragon! I can't believe it! Miracle, stop admiring it and do something! It's not that simple! Before the fruit turns my heart into center! Dragon! Take cover! To the hoardings! You don't. You run. So professional you are. We've got to get to the town. Gate. They're at the gate! At them! Novelettes! Do you want me to go over and tell him? dragon nearly reversed the course of the battle. The fighting should have scared it off. Forget the dragon. I need to hear how this story ends. You were at my side almost all the time after the bridge collapsed. Almost. <laughs> Tell me how you got into the monastery courtyard. And they said we couldn't get near the walls. Half a day and the town is taken. Report! Fighting for the castle continues, and a group of rebels have barricaded themselves inside the monastery. What of my children? Likely in the church as well, sire. Fen took a priest to task, finally mumbled something about a passage neath the walls. It would take a week to get a battering ram in here. Axes, sire. That will also take time. But what other course do we have? This priest. What of him? What of this passage? I fainted for I could really get going on him. He's under guard below. You've some work to do, Commander. Yes, sire. Silas, you look to this door. Fen, come with me. Witcher. Your grace. I have a mission for you, one suited to your abilities. Vernon can be persuasive, but he's also hot-tempered, at times losing both his self-control and his subject. You must try to find this other passage on your own. Succeed. And you'll be the envy of all Vizima. Soldiers loyal to the Lavalettes would never harm the Baroness's children. I shall be reassured as to that when I see them, not before. We must act quickly. The rebels are dispersed, in disarray. As dim-witted as they are, I fear they could conclude the children would make good hostages. Maybe Roach will get something out of this priest. It's a relatively large town. I could use a hint. I'm counting on him. But time is of the essence. Please explore the area. We seek a tunnel or something similar. Beware of traps. They may have planted some. You're best suited to this. My men lack your skills. All right, I'll go. 
I'm relying on you, Witcher. Where are those axes? Move your asses! Soldier, sir. Shut it. We're innocent. The king will decide. Why would your they face. bring in a witcher? Godzellabas! <laughs> what have you done to her? Shut it. Time to pay no. your war tax. Gold and silver on the table, and shut your gobs! These people are unarmed. This is not your concern. Get lost. Get out of here. Now. Uh, right. Sir. Let's go. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Be careful. You may not be so lucky next time. Find a place to hide. I must find my wife first. They herded her away with others like cattle. Good luck. Fire will cleanse your tainted souls. You've no business here! Leave them alone. They're innocent. Innocent? They're with the Lavalettes! Weeds that need to be ripped out with their roots, so they won't grow back again! Treason spreads like the plague. No one will leave here alive. And you, stay out of this. I won't stand by while you murder innocents. So, what'll you do? Kill you. I was not after your blood! I have witnesses! Let the people out and walk away. Unblock the door! I'll report this. Yeah, you do that. Burn anything or touch a single woman, you sons of bitches, and the king will hear of it. Leave us be! You're free. Thank you, my lord. Find a place to hide until this madness ends. But where? They've taken all from us, save our lives. Fall back! Where are these war cards coming from? But we've cleared this. Blow the lilies! They're bringing a witch shot it. We're innocent. The king will decide your fate. Ah! Death is 
the fuck up.
Death to the tyrant! Death to Voltes! You have just become the most titled witcher in the world. And the wealthiest. I'll remind you of that when this is all over, sire. See, Vernon? Geralt succeeded. Lucky he did. The priest was downright discourteous and went off to meet his gods. I saw Scoia'tael on the river. Where? How many? What colors did they wear? Plow the elves. We'll tend to them later. The monastery awaits. Goyatel. This puzzle is beginning to come together, Geralt. You're either telling the truth, or weaving a very convincing lie. I want to hear the rest. Voltes bastards. The Solar. What happened? We might have arrived at the same time, if not for tales. Be specific, Witcher. Well, the Archpriest told the truth. His Majesty King Voltes of Temeria. Arthur Tales, erstwhile Count of Nesvelt. I signed your sentence. Yes, yet the Baroness saw fit to pardon me. An awkward situation, to be sure. Anais and Boosie, where are they? The royal children. Don't test my patience, Tales, and I'll grant you a quick death. Confess, Fotest, before the gods and the people. Boosie and Anais are the fruit of your loins. Bow to the gods and admit the truth. You may not have noticed, Tails, but I just took this town. Aided by murderers, sorcerers, and a mutant for whom nothing is holy. This is hallowed ground. You will not raise your hand against a servant of the gods. Where have you taken the children? <laughs> the Solar. They're in the Solar. What is this? Blasphemy! Sorcerer's tricks! Quiet down, Tails. This is a church. I'll not forget this, mutant. You hear? <laughs> Damn, I've seen assaults go awry, but the dragon topples them all. Tops. Tops what? Well, tops all. Damn nonsense. Geralt, you should know. Is it possible to tame a dragon? Not as far as I know. Then why is this reptile eating only my men? Let's hope Marigold got out of there. I'm sure she did. If not, you'll need a new advisor, sire. Shut up, Roach. It's possible that the dragon simply... Another word from you and the dragon will not be your main concern. Enough! Both of you! The 
dragon's back! I can't! You saved my life again. Ask what you will of me, Witcher. Within reason, of course. I need to leave, sire. I'd like Triss Marigold to come with me. If she wants. Are you blind? She's enamored with you. You may leave, and none shall stop you. You have my word. Who goes there? Foltest. I've come for my children. Geralt, wait here. You might scare them. Ah, thanks be to the gods. My prayers are answered. That's not my father. But it is your king, boy. <laughs> Bells, your triumph is complete. The city and fortress taken, sire. Time to thank the forefather and the mother creatrix for this great victory. A moment, blind man. I've not seen my children in six months. The gods can spare another minute. Listen to me. Your mother and I quarreled, but that is over. She was deceived. Evil men turned her against me. These men have been punished, and all will be well from now. No tears, Boosie. One day you'll be king. And kings do not weep. Armed men approach, sire. Children, go to the refectory. My knights will soon be here. You must meet them, for one day you will rule them. Busi, go wash your face. They must not see that you wept. There's a bucket of water in the next room. A nice. Help your brother. Sire, let us pray. They must look like the royal children they are. Hmm. They have your eyes, sire. 